what's up everybody mtg dad back for another one uh first off i just wanted to apologize about my microphone the last two videos that i put out because that thing was whack i think i got it at a good place now where my voice doesn't sound like i'm in a tunnel and then my i think the other thing was my intro video was like blasting so I'm, i apologize about that i i think i've fixed both of those things but uh i appreciate you guys letting me know um that things didn't sound right this uh, new computer, I don't know what it is about when you switch a computer, like the microphone just goes out all out of whack for no reason. But um, I just wanted to play some more Rakdos um, aggro today with the Reckless Stormseeker. I, was, I had a lot of fun with this deck. Um, this deck has been very, very good. And I kind of, you know, originally I was just going to try to like, I got into Mythic at like 98%. I was just going to like try to get you know, as high up in Mythic as I can, as I've, n I've never really tried to do that before. And this deck is, I think, a really good candidate for best of one of just, like, stomping your opponents and just flying through the ranks. So I, I did want to play it a little bit, but I already dropped, like, six percentage points, I think, in a, in a day and a half, because I wasn't able to play yesterday and, uh, and didn't have a lot of time today until now. So... I don't know, I guess that plan is going to go out the window because I don't have enough time to sit here and grind out 30 games to get above 100%. But um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't changed anything from this list. It's been really, really good so far. I really enjoy um, how consistent this deck is with drawing cards and just consistently doing the same thing that it's trying to do. It it kind of hits all, all bases for me. I mean, we have your four creature lands, the seven removal... Um, you could take out a go for the throat and put another cut down, but I, I like it where it's at. Um, the three Dream Thief and the Bats to fly over the top and draw cards with Gix. And then we have Enti and Blood Tithe Harvester is more draw. Preacher and Gix is obviously more draw. So we're drawing a ton of cards in this deck, even Restless Fence to draw cards. And then we're just super grindy and aggressive. Like, you know, I, I think a lot of the games that I play with this deck is like, People could just continue to try to like remove our creatures and we're just like whatever here's some more here's some more here's some more and we, we draw cards so consistently that we it's you know we're just putting on so much pressure and then the storm seeker into our or shoulder is just like a wham bam thank you ma'am type of thing you know it's like i don't think a lot of people are playing storm seeker right now and um i i really i think i said this in the other video i really like this three 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 combo because all three of these cards are good in different scenarios and um they all provide something to the deck, and they're all just really good three drops. And the you know curving into when you get when you get a, a perfect curve, which happens you know once every ten games, it feels really really good, especially in this deck. But even when we don't get a perfect curve in this deck, and, and what makes this deck so good is that you know we're we're able to grind it out with anybody. And then NT provides like that extra oomph with the counters, um, Blood Tithe Harvester with you know. The, the synergy with Inti and the Blood Tokens and the Bitter Triumph, in case you're not aware that the um, the discard ability with Inti is really, really nice, so you can, you know, crack a Blood Token or, or discard a card with Bitter Triumph. Um, or even Takanumu on your opponent's turn, and then you essentially get to draw two cards. And uh, the blood t the, the token feels so good when you crack that, because you, you get to draw a card with Inti, draw a card with the token, and then you're, you know, usually doing it right into your turn, so you're essentially getting to look at three new cards going into your turn so that synergy is really nice especially like when you're having a hard time finding land or whatnot which occasionally happens because we play 24 but you know sometimes it happens but yeah um let's get into some games and see how this deck does in mythic and I'll, also one thing i forgot to mention um so we're gonna be playing some different stuff just kind of i saw this uh this one list where it's basically like you're shitting out dinosaurs so we're gonna be doing that one next i think because that one looks really fun and then um i have a few different few different things that i'm looking at but um probably go back into some golgari um also gonna mess around with some more ramp um i saw a really good boros ramp that made me think that i want to try that a version of that out and then um probably back around to my my most recent updated version of rakdos ramp just to kind of test out a few different cards in that list and see how they feel but a bunch of different stuff come down the pipeline just wanted to play something that i was familiar with at first just to kick some ass in mythic but yeah let's get into some games Definitely gonna probably have to 
take the red key. You're playing like a mono, mono black, a rampant into vein ripper type of deck. Okay, I guess it looks like they missed a land drop, so that's a good sign for us. their land this time, but nothing. I think we're gonna go Stormseeker here and just kinda hope that we find something big. Either way we can haste in a Blood Tithe Harvester next turn, just to kinda keep the keep the pressure on before they get to their bats or their vein ripper. Um, either way we're in good shape because we have two pieces of removal for when they do get to those bigger creatures. We're going to be swinging in for 10 next turn. We'll get them down to 2, unless they have a removal spell. Okay. Robbing us for 2. So unless, unless we top... Okay. Even better. Still going to get them down to 2, but now we're going to be able to draw 4 cards, which is insane. Yeah, I mean, that's that's sweet, playing Stormseeker and the Gix like that, and giving it haste. That's nice. Um, that's probably going to wrap this one up. So, I mean, whatever they play next turn, we can just go for the throat. It. If they somehow play something that they can protect it with the not dead after all, then we will just use both our removal. But we should have this one about wrapped up. That's gonna do it. So if he uses the not dead after all here, we just use bitter tramp on our upkeep. But yeah, it looks like he just sees the writing on the wall. Good game, good game. Okay, this hand has a lot of potential. Um as a if we just in other words, if we just draw two on tap lands, we're just going to go Stormseeker and Archfiend and just dominate this game. Man, my percentage has dropped six percentage points, and I've only played one game, which I won in the last day and a half. So, so yeah, um, basically, if you don't play, you drop down real fast, huh? Well, the good thing is we got another two drop and Blood Token. Okay. As expected, land is nice. Stormseeker? I think so. I mean, why not, right? That's the whole purpose of this deck, isn't it? To Stormseeker into these two cards. Nope. Oh, there goes the Stormseeker. It's okay. We got it. Do we got another land? No. So we go here. And we pass. Um, definitely gonna discard since our opponent's just playing a bunch of removal. No? Nothing? Okay. I think we're going to get rid of second NT. Just try to find fourth land and start playing our big boys here. Okay, Gix is okay. Bat is okay. Okay. Definitely want to just play the Gix because we need to. He kills Inti, that's fine. He doesn't kill Inti, kills Gix, that's fine. Cool. At a certain point, our opponent is going to run out of spells. Um, we're just digging for land at this point, so I'm going to get rid of one of that. We need to find our land. Okay, our opponent is running out of all of their spells here. Um, Asian of Target, okay. This is a fun deck we're playing against here, isn't it? Land, nice. Look at that. And it, just gonna go ahead and drop that down. Um, we're gonna start off with 
this. Because I doubt they have any way to deal with that. And then we swing in. Well, he does have a way to deal with it, really. I was about to say, you gotta have you gotta have some stuff for that, right? Um, I think at this point we are going to just play the bat to take the dragon for a removal spell, or at least it force them to do something. Okay, so I'm probably I'm sure he has some removal here. No, just a negate. Was five damage. So we take that, and then we just kill his six-six creature when he plays it. Okay. If he drew a land this turn, he has a good game, I guess. Nitrogen. Looks pretty solid. Probably go bat on two. Anti on three. <clears throat> Land is good, so we can go Archfiend on four. Okay, mark it known when it dies. Gain a life, draw a card. Okay, so definitely... Some kind of Orzhov control, I'm guessing. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> that was a good bat turn there. Okay, Inspector, investigate. Okay. I mean, we are not worried about the market gnome in the slightest here. I think we're just gonna go um, anti Dream Thief. Yeah, I don't want to discard anything. Not right now. Blood Tithe Harvester. Sure. Do we cast? I mean, it's a removal, so it's a form of removal. Yeah, we're gonna decline. I think we're just gonna play Archfiend and. Put the pressure on our opponent. I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, Anti's not doing anything right now. Next turn, we will start discarding things. Hopefully, we'll just like discard a land with NT. Did he find removal for? Oh, never mind. He did not. Good game. Hey, going first. I like it. I like it. Down. Um. No, I, we got the harvester. I just want to find lands right now so we can go into Stormseeker. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently this game really wanted us to have cut down. So I think we go bat this turn. If we don't find land, we'll go Dream Thief cut down. Classification is pretty good one to take. Yeah. I'm imagining they're gonna play this card, so um, if we draw land, then we'll play Tar Blood Tithe Harvester and cut down. I think. Yes, especially because they just drew that card. No dice. Land. Look at that. Have second form of removal for not really. I don't really care about that. I will hold up the cut down for when they try to put it on something. Be 
the audacity on something. Um, okay, so we're definitely going to cut this down. And we'll probably just block the uh, visitor. If he swings in with it. Or whatever. Oh wow, he had it just happened to draw his second audacity, right? Which is like the best card he could have drawn. I mean, we're totally blocking. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this. Draw your cards, champ. Land isn't bad, but we need card draw right now. Okay. Cool. That's exactly what we wanted. That is exactly the card that I was. Doesn't it feel good when you do things and then they make sense afterwards? Um, so now I think we go double bat. Mm, that card's annoying. And that card's annoying also. Sure. Okay. Okay, sure. We'll hit them with the bat and we'll see what they have and then either hold up go for the throat or. Yeah. I think we're just gonna kill this because this card does, yeah, things that we don't like. Okay, I don't care about that in the slightest. Uh, nope, I don't care about that either. Land is fine. I think at this point we're just gonna go storm seeker though. Six damage, and we have game next turn. Not a good one. All right, um, looks okay. Just gonna have to hold this up because they're gonna switch when they switch. Yeah, you have to choose a non land card. I don't really like that. So, um, unfortunately, we cannot wait to do this. So, just take our three life. Don't want them taking any cards from my hand. I like my hand a lot. Probably get rid of one of these NTs right now. Unless they play a creature that we can kill with Blood Scythe Harvester. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Orzhov Control apparently is one of our um, shittiest matchup, so we've been getting matched up against this recently. Yes, nice. Goodbye, NT. Yeah, these, these, uh, Orzhov decks are annoying as shit when you're playing a creature deck. They have so much removal. He takes the bat? I guess. 
or he takes, I mean, the Bitter Triumph, I guess. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, they're all good. I mean, you don't take Gix for using Gix, and we're drawing shit tons of cards. Souls for now, in case we just discard that with Inti next turn. I have a feeling there's a board wipe coming though, so I don't really want to commit too much more to the board. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like I just played a deck just like this, like. Um, last game. Super. Super, super annoying to be playing this deck again from a different person. Sure, I'll take that trade all day, every day. Uh, I r really don't want to play into here because I just have a feeling that they have a board wipe. They're trying to restless fortress us and board wipe us. be nice if they didn't in their last two cards. Yeah, Restless Fortress is annoying. I guess if he holds back the Restless Fortress as a blocker, then we will play into so we can put a counter on Gix, but of course he drew Ossification, so... Yeah. Um, I think the uh, Shuffler is just trying to screw us over right now. <gasps> Nobody knows so Dominaria one thing we can do like here me. is um, I'm tired of your play NT and one of our 1-1 one -one linkers will get trample and a counter. And we'll just discard this land. Let's go one here. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We're going to go both of them here. We have to play it, so we will play it. So at least this way, Liliana cannot make us sacrifice a creature, and hopefully he didn't top deck. Ridiculous card. Okay. Apparently he did not. Yeah, so basically the last game we played against Orzov wasn't worth keeping in the video because our opponent literally drew the perfect answer for us every single turn and then just sh shellied us out. So it was not a not a good one for the video because it was just it felt like arena nonsense. And so does this game, but we're at least okay right now until our opponent draws a board wipe of some sort. Okay, so he's choosing not to discard his card, which is telling. Gix is good because hopefully he doesn't have instant speed removal. He has how many lands on tap? Two? Yeah, he needs way more than that. I'm sorry, that goes there. That and that go there. Draw some cards. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish, after all. That is good. And that is good. So we can play Takanumo. Get a creature back. Each opponent discards a card. Annoying. I'm definitely not discarding Stormseeker. Is there anything I want to bring back from here? Or just do we just discard the land? Yeah, I'm just going to discard the land. It's irrelevant. Stormseeker is um, too good. Thanks for making us discard with Inti out, dude. And we will kill the bot. What does that do? Exile target creature you control. Okay. Well, we're going to do this and then kill that thing immediately. Is probably going to get a concession from our opponent, which is good because screw.
through this deck. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. Create a one one. No. Yeah. Okay. So she's gonna pay our three life and kill this thing. So we lose that, but whatever. We come in for five, eight damage next you turn, which feels pretty good. To leave a dull party. Uh, wow. Well, we come in for eleven damage. Um, I'm actually not going to do that in case they top deck. So we come in for three, five, eight. Yeah. I am actually not going to do that in case they have some kind of board wipe that they top deck. No, we're not discarding that. Just to make sure that we have something on the the back. Nope, just a land and a Restless Fortress. Uh, he's attacking with it, which is silly. Uh, good game. That's enough. Yeah. Good game. Another uh, annoying one, though, there with Orzov. I just realized that my microphone was turned off this entire match. But uh, land would be really nice right here. And it's good. Hmm. He's just gonna kill the anti, right? So let's just go ahead and get value out of it, I guess. <clears throat> sure. Do your thing, Broham. He has dissipate, so hopefully he uses his mana. It's not a good sign. We don't have a cavern of souls, unfortunately. He has to use at least three mana for us to. Yeah, we're definitely gonna block here so we can be at 14 14, so we can draw and create a 1 1 token. Okay. We can find Cavern of Souls. Nope. I think we let Gix fall to the wayside here. I'm okay with that. I think Shieldred's gonna win us the game. That's fine. Preacher's doing some work this game. Oh. Turn target creature to his hand. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna keep blocking the scoundrel. I think. I've got shield right here. He's gotta have like witch stalkers frenzy or something. I mean, we're not blocking him, so not at all. Well, that was silly. And he did not disappoint with his. What does that do? Pass with three or less. He does one damage. I do not care about that in the slightest. Okay, no attacks. Just gonna sit tight with our strong board state and see what our opponent can come up with here. Got some for Shieldred. Each player chooses a non-land permanently control return all non-land permanents not chosen, then draw a card for each opponent who has more cards in their hand than you. Okay. Well, I'm just it out. And we have the same amount of cards in our hand. And he's going to cast Scalding Viper. Okay. That's not going to do it. Good the game. Playing against Pick Nickel. Yeah, I mean, it looks 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 solid. Um, oh, mono red. Wonderful. I think we're okay though. I mean, we have Shielder and Preacher, so that should be 
fair. Is this guy really gonna slow play me? Okay. Come on, man. Um, double harvester is fine. I, I think that's what we're gonna start off with. And then go into preacher after that. Maybe shoulder. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Taking five. Going second against Mana Red is my favorite thing in magic. Land is good. Um, yeah, we definitely want to go double harvester here, I think, just because it's removal. And um, we're going to block unless he kills our harvester. Which he probably will. As expected. Alrighty. Swinging in for three. Just three is fine. Okay. So we will go here. Play the cliffs. And sit tight. Um trying to think if we go ahead and play shield or next turn. I think so, because we have five mana. So we'll go ahead and drop the big boy down. Uh, Felden, Felden. I think we're going to block the Swift Spear here. Take two. Unless he kills our Harvester, which he did again. Okay. So our opponent has got us down to six. Damage. I see a point in discarding it. Thing right now, we can do that and gain life with Shieldred if we can survive. Mono red, he's so dumb. Yeah, we're gonna go wide here with Preacher into, I think, is the plan. I mean, we have to block here, we can't not block, so. Okay, he has one card in his hand, and we're gonna block uh, Swift Spear if he goes in for the attack. If he doesn't, we're in amazing shape because we have Preacher and an Inti coming down. Sweet. Gaining two life is fun. So is this and this. Fun, fun, fun. No attacks. We will, um, next turn we will attack with Preacher and play Gix and gain some life and gain a life linker. I would imagine our opponent is going to concede because they have run out of gas. And you know what? They can kiss my ass. Um, we're definitely going to discard a card here and make Preacher a 3-5. Oh. Didn't couldn't let us couldn't let us finish it out, huh? That's okay, man. Okay. So back for the post game wrap up. Uh, this deck just went seven and one in Mythic. Our only loss, like I said earlier, was uh, to a Orzov control deck that drew perfect and had a piece of removal every single turn for us. Um, overall, this deck, this deck has, uh, I think it's it's only lost one time. The, the record is a little skewed because I was trying to fix the microphone and I was using this deck to beat Sparky over and over again while I was figuring out the microphone issues from before. Um, but, I mean, that was like maybe five games. So I think overall, it's, it's been really, really good. I'll, I'll post the link up from uh, MTG Net and, and Etherhub as well. But yeah, I mean, this is a really, really good one for just ranking up the ladder. Again, if I had like three hours, I would just play this deck for three hours and just try to get into the top 1500. But I, you know, I got a life, so I don't really have time to do things like that. But um, let me know if you tried this deck out. Uh, like I... Like I said earlier, I'm um, going to be playing some some fun, different things here soon. Um, in my next video, I think I'm going to be playing this, this um, like I said, a, a dinosaur deck. I'll, this, I'll just say that for now. But yeah, I mean, 
this deck just is so consistent. Like to me, like if I wanted to play an aggro deck, this is the one. This has easily been the most consistent aggro deck that I've played. It just draws so many cards, so many ways. Like there's so much synergy in card draw, and and the life gain comes down quick with uh you know gaining life or get, getting counters with NC onto the bat, getting life with preacher with Gix when Shieldred's out. Um, and then, not to mention, you usually are just running your opponents over. So, um, But yeah, as always, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And if so, and if you have subscribed, I greatly appreciate you. And y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>